How often do you find yourself caught between what is presented to you and what is interpreted? As human beings, we're drawn towards the adventure and finding things out. This show here will dive into those desires and try to uncover the truth of things that are shrouded in mystery. Welcome to Think On It. Today, we look at the TV series Rick and Morty and one of the theories surrounding that. One concept that has always impressed me was the Evil Morty Theory. Side note, if you haven't seen Rick and Morty before, I highly suggest looking at it on YouTube. It's also on Adult Swim. Anyway, the theory explains that Evil Morty, who is one of the Mortys that we meet in the first season, is our Rick's original Morty. This plays into the idea that we saw in Rick Potion number 9. In that episode, we see Rick Cronenberging the entire world. He then goes on to tell Morty we can find a new dimension to sneak into as long as we find one that meets certain criteria. He sneaks it in through the dialogue to where this isn't the first time that a Rick would have had to have slid into another dimension. So in truth, the theory comes into play when you start imagining whether or not our Rick is not C-137's Rick, like our Morty is, but rather someone else's Rick, perhaps Evil Morty. Finding evidence of this theory is not as hard as it may sound, we just have to think on it and dive into a couple of episodes giving in some more evidence to this theory. Even by looking at some of the minor differences between the two Mortys, our C-137 Morty and the Evil Morty. For one, they're both 14 years old. However, C-137 seems to have a stutter when he talks. He's not very good with the uh, machinery. He doesn't understand the technology at the level that Rick does. Evil Morty, on the other hand, does not have a speech impediment and is very manipulative, very, very intelligent, to the point where he even becomes the president of the Council of Ricks, the first Morty to ever do so. He even has a plan set forward for being the president to where we as viewers don't even know what the plan is yet. Now, Evil Morty hates Ricks. I personally believe that it was abandonment by Rick that turned EM into the kind of Morty that he is. You could say it's as simple as in the opening cutscene to the TV show during its theme song, there's a spot where Rick leaves Morty through a portal while he's being while they're both being chased. Morty is left there. That could be EM. Obviously though, EM being intelligent enough to understand uh, different dimensions and what to do in these dimensions, he was able to rescue himself from the situation that I spoke about earlier and began to formulate a plan of sorts to, to get back at not just his Rick, but all other Ricks, knowing what kind of person Rick is. We find it very clear though that our Rick does care for our Morty in a very asshole-ish kind of way. Could it be because of the moment he left EM, he felt a certain level of guilt towards it and is trying to redeem himself through another Morty? Well, in some parts of that, yes. Seeing in episode Rick Encounters of the Rick Kind, when we first meet Evil Morty along with the supposed Evil Rick, we come to discover that through a machine that they were able to tap into our Rick's memories, there was an image of a baby Morty that came up to where he was holding Morty, and a tear came down his face. So there is some form of passion or love for a Morty, and that could very well be the original evil Morty. Now Rick always comes back to save the day for our Morty. And that could be because he doesn't, he simply just doesn't want to make the same mistakes twice. He doesn't want to create another Morty to where he's felt abandoned and betrayed. And that's why he's extra careful and safe with our Morty. His emotions also play into another theory that I thought, but you know, that could be for another time. Another good piece of the puzzle is, again, in episode Close Rick Encounters of the Rick Kind, we see evil Morty controlling evil Rick through a piece of eyewear, thus making you believe that Evil Morty could be more cybernetic than what we see. We already know that our Rick is cybernetic in ABCs of Beth, so it could be possible that the both of them helped kind of mold each other in a certain way. Our Rick was able to teach Evil Morty how to become more cybernetic. 
seeing as our Rick is the only Rick we ever see with cybernetic powers. There's also a timeline gap or confusion in the series as well. In the episode Get Swifty, we see a picture of young Rick holding baby Morty, but that doesn't really make sense. It's been established that Rick has left his family for about 20 something years, but Morty is 14 years old. So how would a young Rick be able to hold his Morty if he wasn't there for his birth? So it could be that the Rick that you see holding that Morty could be our Rick, and that Morty being held is evil Morty. And the explanation could just be that Rick, this Rick, stayed and raised Evil Morty. This would help explain Evil Morty's intelligence and lack of stutter seeing as he's been with Rick his entire life. Evil Morty's been through so much more than C-137 Morty has. Our Morty. As such, no longer has the doubt and the stutter and, and suspicion and fear in himself. And he acts much like our Morty did and rest in relaxation. With a show like Rick and Morty, there are bound to exist endless possibilities for theories. With so many different dimensions and so many different stories happening all at once, you're bound to come up with something. Are the theories that are out there right or wrong? Well, who are we to answer that? We don't always have the answer. But that's the beauty of the theory. We're driven to find pieces of a puzzle that we want to put together and are meticulous in our search through each episode, each, each line. We try to uncover more of what the theory could be, what the answers to all of our questions are. We come together as a community and try to put together the story that hasn't been told. And that to me is the most respectful way to appreciate a show. Anyway, that's all the evidence that I have for this theory. If there's any parts that I might have missed, please leave it down in the comments below so we can help build on this one. I truly believe that this could be the most liable theory for Evil Morty. I would adore hearing you guys take part in this theory for me. Now, I'm going to go on record right now and say I'm not the first person to come up with this theory. So I'm not taking credit for the theory. I'm merely putting out my evidence and my facts that I've helped try to discover in, in favor of this theory. And if there are any theories that you know of, be it video games, be it movies, be it TV shows, let me know down in the comments below. I love learning. I love facts and I love finding pieces of puzzles that may or may not even exist. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And the next time you see a piece of the puzzle that may not fit just right, sit on it research it try to figure it out dissect it because you might be onto something just got to think on it